What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nathaniel. So you guys requested that you all would like to see the updated version of our old mini rescue. So this is our old rescue 95. It is a 2009 GMC. We bought brand new back in the day. This was our rescue truck for many, many years. That was just recently replaced by our new rescue 97. So this truck now serves the purpose for us as a brush truck and it still runs minor medical calls. So nothing has changed really except for some tool placement in that the truck now has water on it. So I'll just do a full review again, starting from the front. So we have a winch on the front bumper there. Then getting into the cab. That's what the cab of the truck looks like. The five seater. We have some paperwork and some flashlights in the back here, some medical gloves. Now, I don't think we're going to get this changed to a brush because I personally think it'd be a waste of money, but I don't know for sure. So this is our center console layout. Pretty fancy radio. We have a Gulfstream Thunder Siren and the toggle switches for the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip that on. Center console has a, a main breaker there. So we have wigwags in the headlights. We got some grill lights in the grill. Believe them are some form of Tomar lights. I'm actually a pretty big fan of those, except they're like 120 bucks each. So then we have our light bar up top. Kind of does its own pattern thing, does whatever it wants to. And we have lights mounted on the rear, same brand of grill lights that are in the front. There we go. Get a little bit better thing in the in the picture there. So we'll go ahead and flip these back off and turn our seat lights on. The grill lights on the front have a white override. We have the light bar takedowns, right and left alleys. And as long on the other side, there's also the uh, pod lights for scene. Scene lights, pod lights, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to turn that back off. So the siren, the Gulf Street Thunder. I will say this is a pretty rare version of the Gulf Street Thunder. You don't see a whole lot of them around. A lot of them have the uh, knob that you twist and play with, but. Not that one. I do like that one the most, though, compared to the other one. My first siren was actually a Gulf Street Thunder siren. So, in this compartment, we have medical supplies. We have oxygen for patients and a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in the med bag. Like I said, this truck will run, like, not major trauma-related, but, like, you know, minor lift assist or the squad just needs another hand doing something or the trailer pulled. So this is the truck for that. We have two of the deployable road signs. I believe they say emergency ahead or emergency incident, something like that. And in the back, we have some more medical stuff up here. We've got some wipes, gloves, head blocks, cervical collars, and AED, set of spider strips. And back here where we have some caution tape and some stuff to start fires with you guys might be questioning that uh, this is a brush truck so keep in mind uh, we can use these lighters to back burn on a brush fire back burning is where you essentially uh, start a fire on the other side of your fire line and it kind of 
meets in the middle and burns everything. So keyword of back burning. So, and here we have a leaf blower. This is my take two of this video, so I left this compartment open because the pain in the butt to get closed with one hand. Back here we have two chainsaws. This compartment shuts like this, but I can't do it with I can't do it with only one hand. So this is the pump for the water, the hose reel up top. Um, this actually also has a, a skid unit, so we can put someone on a backboard up here and take them out to the woods or something like that. Down here, we still have our Stokes baskets with a backboard. And we got some brooms and I think another shovel in there. I will close that other compartment in a second. That's how I just have to have both hands to do it. And on the driver's side over here, this first compartment, we have chainsaw and chainsaw accessories. Up here. We have a shovel and some fire rakes. And here we got some miscellaneous tools, miscellaneous handheld tools. Down here, we have another leaf blower and a tow hitch, or a ball hitch for trailers. And in this last compartment, we have a drinkable water fill hose and a regular fire hose. That obviously fits the pump up there. So, this is the truck. Um, I, like I said, I don't think we're going to get anything on the lettering to change over because there's really no need to, if you ask me personally. But I hope you guys like this video. That you guys were requesting a video like this because everything in the truck has changed. Majority of the stuff has changed at least. There's some stuff that's still pretty similar, but a majority of it is different. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.